So where to Pi Network? Uh, it's been so many days since I've been talking about Pi Network and having a kind of debate on where is this actually going to go. Um, I don't like to break news every single day about every single thought that I have in my head about Pi Network or different other networks. I rather allow some time to pass by before I actually say something. It's been a few good days since we haven't got any, any good news from Pi Network apart from just talking about new hacktons and talking about bits that they don't have. Um, I understand the fact that it's hard to build this utility and I understand that having to build this utility will take time. Uh, reason why I want to break news and actually congratulate them for the new app release that they actually launched yesterday or the day before. I think it's still in beta mode and it's still lots to tweak. Um, actually learn how this app is going to be useful. Um, I've started using it, it's a forum type of app which will for sure involve in us paying different tips or paying different type of or different ways of paying pi and supporting these people who are actually offering different support in different um, areas i don't know exactly how useful this will be so if you didn't see this this app already you can actually go in your pi app and from there you can go into the pi browser and from I mean, you can actually see it on the on the main screen today if you're actually joining, if not, go to the Pi Browser. So let's go into the Pi Browser, uh, sign into your Pi Browser, make sure you always remember your credentials and make sure you always save your passphrases and everything else. And from there, you'll actually see Fireside. Uh, it's a different button, uh, different from the ones that you've been used uh, to have in, in your Pi Browser. So click on the Fireside, and in there you'll see the Firesat forum. This can probably be useful, I don't know, but it's, it's the least utility I would probably spend my coins on, uh, not to be offensive or anything else. Um, and from here on the bottom, you still see how bad this Pi Browser app is for iOS. Uh, they barely see the buttons at the bottom of, of the app. So in there you see home channels, post, my tokens and profile. I bought some tokens and you can see um, the amount of, of tokens you can actually buy with one pi, 10 pi and 100 pi. Um, you'll see the channels and from those channels you can actually get all sorts of different, um, different I don't know, forums in which you can discuss and ask questions and get answers. Um, I've made a channel myself to be honest. If you go into your profile, you'll see bits that I posted and then you'll see uh, learn more about the crypto and free crypto mining. Um, this is kind of, I've tried to make a channel and see if people will interact. Um, nobody's interested in this as yet and I'm not sure how it's actually working. Um, I'll probably go into the home, uh, the founders of Pi Network. Uh, the Pi Network was founded blah, 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 blah. Uh, lots of Chinese, lots of different languages, bits that I don't understand and I don't think this is going to actually work in, in any way. Um, for now, it looks, I don't know, uh, what's the point of it, because I'm not sure how accurate these answers will be, and I'm not sure how this forum is going to actually beat Reddit. Um, I think it's kind of a different type of Reddit within the uh, ecosystem of Pi Network. Um, I congratulate them and it's better having something than having nothing. But I'm not sure how this uh, Fireside Forum is going to actually help in future. Um, it's a step in seeing that actually having some apps, they can be built on the ecosystem, they can be built on the blockchain, uh, they can integrate easily with SDK with the Pi uh, uh, kind of wallet because I've paid uh, one Pi, I bought those 100 coins very easily. Uh, and you can probably use those to tip people and to do all sorts of different other bits within that. Um, this is dragging more time and of course we are all impatient in trying to see uh, the end of, of, of Pi and when I say the end I'm actually talking about the moment this is going to be released on the open mainnet 
in which people are going to be able to exchange their coins with outside of the firewall of their of their ecosystem um, a step forward I, I applaud this I'm not going to moan or say anything about it I'm just saying it's no use I see no use for me at this stage because I'm not sure how accurate that data will be and if I answer uh, questions in there why would I do that and pay people for uh, getting me a reply that I'll find on Google or even Chagic PT or different other AIs um, this is not helpful in any way and I'm not sure this is going to add any value to the ecosystem and the utility of these coins uh, I'll have to wait for more different updates before I actually say yes this is a great update this is this um, this is a good update uh, this is some good news but it's not the news that I'm expecting uh, you know how pessimistic I am when it comes to development and uh, how realistic I actually am because I'm not pessimistic because I like the network but I'm quite realistic in saying this will take years and years and years and years speaking people soldiers in the pie uh, community they're just going to fall uh, in this war in waiting and waiting and waiting um, till then as I always say uh, it costs you nothing to keep on mining and till I don't see any any way of them trying to monetize more uh, from using our resources I will say keep on mining because it's not costing you anything apart from having this app on your uh, on your phone and if you're not uh, scared of sharing your data encrypted data of your identity when it comes to passing a KYC uh, because uh, you know their deployment of this app and how they propose of using it uh, but more and more I'm asking myself why on earth they wanted to do KYC prior doing all sorts of different utilities and trying to build up the community without having to pass the KYC uh, but this is some other topic for some other time uh, thank you guys for being here subscribe to my channel and let's talk about Pi Network and different other apps uh, if you want to see different apps which you can actually start earning money, check my channel and go check those apps. There are so many that I've talked about and lots in which you can actually earn something. Little by little, you can get a lot uh, because I'm not going to share a secret in which you're going to become rich overnight because that's just lie and pure luck. And if you want to try your luck, obviously you will not want to try it with Pi Network or different the cryptocurrencies or stock market even uh, you need a lot of money to be able to make even more um, but if you want to try luck this is not an advice do whatever you like with your money um, thank you for being here again look after yourselves and your family it will help me to give me a like at this video and a subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye